What's good guys, it's a Thursday, it's the 4th of May and I want to welcome you to today's uh, daily market analysis. This is uh, going to be a quick video and um, we're looking at the pound dollar on the 30 minute chart and uh, as you know yesterday on my trading journal we had a very nice cipher pattern here. X to A, A to B, B to C and a CD completion around here and as you can see the pound just rolled over and, and uh, we got stopped out for about um, 47 pips but as you can see price continued its way lower for about 100 and, uh, 115 pips but now that's over uh, we're looking for other opp opportunities and um, we have a potential structure based trade in this uh, in this pair on this time frame I'm looking at this area of structure right here <coughs> as you can see we have a rejection of, of this area right here as a resistance 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 back down as support even here not quite coming up into um, resistance here but uh, we, we we consider that as a we consider structure as an area and not just a line and uh, once price broke through we had support and our uh, price broke through again and basically formed a very nice consolidation area around here so we are looking for price to come up into this area possibly before making its way downwards again um, we can use some Fibonacci analysis in this. We potentially have a 618 in that area. As you can see, the 618 level lines up very nicely with that um, area of uh, structure which we identified. I don't think we're going to get any more Fibonacci levels. Possibly if I use this swing right here. If I take a swing low to a swing high, we could get a 236 potentially. The 236 lines up in an area that's a minor Fibonacci level but um, we'll still use that uh, as of as uh, right now price is about um, 25 pips away so potentially if price comes up here maybe showing a divergence or possibly going overboard uh, we can look to sell the pair and targets would possibly go down back at structure and stops will have to go above either this high or this high a safe option would be going over this high but um, we'll see how our risk to reward ratio plays out uh, as price gets nearer to that. So this has been the daily market analysis here at Elementary FX. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.